we're gonna solve this question this is an Olympiad question and uh, uh, we have some more conditions that a b are in c and we have a squared minus b squared is 9 a times b is 20 and we are asked to find a plus b if we have this factor in, in a z okay we can use uh, uh, we can square both sides and we can try to find it but it will be long okay another key idea that we're going to use here is that we have a squared minus b squared is 9 which we can write as a minus b times a plus b in fact we can use uh, this one here a b as a check-in okay so this is a check that we're going to use so when we have two numbers in z so a times b okay and this number is positive that means either a is positive b is positive or a is negative and b is negative okay so this is we are not going to use this one until the end and now so now we're going to treat two cases when both a and b are positive and when both a and b are negative okay so we're going to use that one here so now we have the product so a minus b and a plus b both belong to z okay so when we do the the product we don't know which one is bigger okay but we're going to use this this scenario here okay with a is being as uh, a minus b and b b a plus b and in the second case this a is going to be a minus b and this b is going to be a plus b okay so here and we see that we can have this nine here as one times nine okay or we can have these two equal okay can we have that can we have a minus b is the same as uh, a plus b assume that we have that okay assume that we have that because sometimes we have a minus b is equal to a plus b when b is zero okay so let's treat these cases okay and the first thing that we're going to have is that if a minus b is one then a plus b is nine if we add these two equation we get two a is ten that means a is five if a is five so five minus what give us one that's four if a is five b is four okay we can check we can check this result if a is five that means a squared is 25 minus b squared 16 that's nine is a times b is 20 yes so this is a solution so the first solution that we get don't tell me that this is logical because if the numbers are big we need algebra Okay, next, if a minus b is uh, minus 1 and a plus b is negative 9. Okay, the same thing we add to get 2a is minus 10 and a is minus 5. If, uh, if we have a is a minus 5, okay, let me see. If a is minus 5, then what's b? Okay b is minus 4 okay it's coming from here so it's uh, minus 5 minus b is 1 therefore minus b is uh, 1 uh, oh, sorry it's 6 because you have 1 so it's 6 so minus b is 1 plus 5 b is minus 6 okay okay one key to check is a times b is 20 no so this is not a solution okay next we're going to treat the other cases in the same manner can we have a minus b is 3 and a plus b is 3 okay we add we get uh, clearly we're going to get 2a is 6 that means a is 3 okay if a is 3 okay what's b b is 0 okay but can we have this no because this is 20 uh, one more idea that we're going to have is that uh, uh, we could have a, uh, 
which uh, the, which case that we didn't cover. So uh, we can we can have a b a minus b is three, a plus b is three, or minus three. Sorry, this is we need this one more. Okay, a minus b is minus three. So we're gonna have the same thing here. If we, plus if we add these two, we're gonna have a is minus three. Okay, and if we treat all these cases, okay. If we treat all these cases, the only one that we're going to find is A is 5 and B is 4. Okay? So this one, this method of solving uses logic. So we use this one to check, to get into these cases here, and we check the solutions. Okay? There are other ways that we can do. Okay? We can write A squared minus B squared as A plus B times A minus B, and we can square everything and we solve but that's lengthy okay so we we restrict ourselves to this method okay because time is consuming when doing this this olympiad you have a restricted time so the key in solving this one this question in particular is to check for uh, uh is to it in this manner here to get the solution quickly thank you very much